In this one, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the follow on follow strategy. Yes, we're gonna do it step by step. So you're gonna know how I in the past was able to get hundreds all the way up to thousands of real and targeted followers using this strategy. And on top of that, I'm also gonna show you the new strategy that I recommend you do instead of the follow on follow. It's a little bit more work, but it's way less intrusive. It upsets way less people and it has even better results. It's also currently the strategy that we are using on our clients accounts. So if you are interested in learning about how I can help you grow your account by hundreds all the way up to thousands of real and targeted people every single month, my email is down below. Let's say you're a car dealership or a car reposting account, something along those lines. The first step of the follow on follow strategy is to find other similar accounts that have the audience that you want to target and get in front of. So what we're going to do here is just put hashtag cars. Now there's going to be a ton of content here. So all of these posts are going to have people who are interested in cars engaging in them. So one strategy you can do is go in here, go into the actual profile, go into the followers, and then you can start shooting out follows to these people. You're an account that they have shown interest in other similar accounts, so they are likely to follow you back. Now there's a few things you want to think about when you're finding accounts to pull the targeting from their followers. The first thing you want to do is make sure they have at least 5,000 followers and make sure that they have less than 100,000 followers. And the reason why you want accounts of that size is that you want accounts to be small enough to where their audience is genuine. It's an authentic audience that didn't just buy hundreds of thousands of followers or they're just not big enough to be pulling in a bunch of bot followers or bot accounts into their account. Also have another way of targeting people. What you can do is you can actually go down uh, through the content here and you can look for content that got the least amount of likes. So let's go ahead and look at this one. Now, the reason why you want to find the accounts that have the least amount of likes is that these are gonna be this person's dedicated audience. These are the people who are liking almost every single piece of content that this person posts. Another way you can target people is just using the hashtags like this, going into this content, going into the likes or the comments would probably be even better if you want super active people. Make sure that the comments look genuine and then you can go ahead and follow these people. I didn't like that that piece of content had 900 likes and then only two comments. Um, normally Instagram's pretty good at sifting out people who have tried to game the algorithm with fake likes and fake comments in this hashtag section because they don't want you gaming it so they're not gonna benefit you from trying to game their system. Here we go. We finally found one that looks like it has a ton of comments. Now you can go through here. Oh gosh, not that guy. What's the point of this? Yeah, you don't want him. I'd say like these guys keep up the good work lads and my stolen Range Rover hasn't been whatever. These guys are going to be good guys to actually target and follow. So that's step number one is the targeting, but then there's also doing the actions. So Instagram has limits and if you go over these limits, you can get blocked and even in more trouble than just them blocking your actions for a little bit. So how you can stay out of trouble is make sure you do about 10 to 20 actions an hour, follow actions or unfollow actions an hour. You can do 20 of one and then 20 of the other, as long as you warm up to that a little bit. And you should only really be doing about 100 to like 150 follow actions and then unfollow actions every single day. Now that's gonna get you in front of 150 people a day. Those are rough limits and it all depends on your account. If your account has a higher trust score, if you're posting, if you're active and Instagram knows that, you're gonna get away with more actions. Now, there's also other actions you could do instead of following, you could be liking or commenting, you could do the $1.80 strategy, which is Gary Vee's strategy of leaving your two cents on like nine posts every single day, adds up to $1.80. Or no, 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 to do that 10 times or something, I don't know, whatever. The point is that you need to engage with people to get your account in front of them. And they need to be targeted people who are gonna find your account and whatever you're making content on interesting. So like for this guy, I could like his content and then comment on it. Sick, bruh. Heck yeah, dude, let's go. Now, as far as the unfollowing goes, you can go into the people you're following. You can go date latest, and then you can see all these people, all the car people that I recently followed. Now, you need to wait at least a day or two to actually unfollow these people. Uh, if you stick to the 150 follows per day, you go back about 300 to 450 followers or people that you are following, and then you can start unfollowing those people.
But let's talk about this other strategy that is the new targeted engagement strategy that I think is way better than the follow and follow strategy. It's actually pretty similar. This strategy is story viewing, story liking. So if you have a car account, which mine is not, then you would just be able to go into the reels here, swipe through and get a bunch of car content, which I actually did right here. So the story viewing and story liking is just going through these, liking the stories. Now you can do about thousand to 2000 of these a day. A better way to do this is actually do the targeting the same way as the follow and follow, get the list of their followers, put it all in a list every single day, check to see if they have stories, like a couple of their stories, go down to the next person on that list. This strategy is better because it's less intrusive. You don't have to actually follow the person and then unfollow him. So there's less, you know, bad juju there. You can do a lot more actions, which means a lot more growth. And you're just engaging, which helps you create and nurture the relationships with these targeted people who you will get to know and trust. That is how you're going to sell stuff. That's how you're, you're going to make super fans. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing. That helps more people find this content. If you're interested in working with me and having us do this work for you, my email is down below. I had a lot of fun today. I hope you did too. Bye-bye.